Stopping and restarting in the middle of a project is easy with QuiltPath. In this video, we will cover how to restart a project after a planned shutdown. Please be sure to watch our other video tutorial showing how to restart after an unplanned shutdown as well. As always, we recommend you save your whole quilt layout as a file just in case something happens while you're stitching that would require you to restart midstream. Be sure to watch the Panto Stacker video tutorials if you need help understanding how to save a quilt file. There may be times where you need to power the system down and start back up at a different time when stitching on a project. In order to start up where you left off, plan to stop after you've completed a row and are ready to advance your quilt top. Mark your alignment position as you normally would. While there are many ways to mark your alignment position, we highly recommend using the painter's tape method. To do this, poke a hole in a small piece of painter's tape at your realign location. I prefer using the center placement method for my pantographs as shown here. However, if you prefer using the left side placement for your pantographs, your painter's tape will be on the left side of your quilt. When you restart, press the corresponding left corner placement as you normally do to tell Quilt Path where to begin your new row. As a best practice, do not remove each of the small pieces of painter's tape with the alignment marking holes of your pantograph until you're ready to remove your completed quilt from your APQS long arm machine. We need to know which row we'll be stitching when we return to our project. Click on the white button to the left of the placement buttons to reveal the pattern map. Here we can see that we are getting ready to stitch row 2. Make a note of the row you'll be restarting. After you have marked your alignment position for the next row, you can shut down your quilt path as usual. You will be prompted to save your file at this point, just in case you've forgotten to do so. In my case, I've already saved, so I'm going to click No and continue shutting down. When you are ready to get started again, open your quilt file in Quilt Path by using the Pantograph button in the Select and Sew menu. In the upper file tree, click on the Quilt Path folder. Click on your quilts folder and select the desired file. You'll most likely be asked to set your safe area at this point. Click on Quilt as Rows. Reveal the pattern map in the placement screen by tapping on the PS Placement button. Use the plus buttons to navigate to the row you would like to start sewing. You'll get a prompt reminding you that you need to place this pattern. Since we marked our placement location with some painter's tape before shutting down, this will be super simple. Click OK. Position your needle over the alignment point you marked for yourself prior to shutting down. You may need to rotate the flywheel located on the left front side of the machine to drop the needle slightly to be sure you are perfectly positioned over the hole in your painter's tape. Once the needle is in position, tap on the appropriate alignment flag and that's it. Just tap on pull bobbin to bring your bobbin thread to the top. Then click on sew and stitch out the next row. If you have an unplanned shutdown and do not have a prior alignment point to use, in order to orient your quilt path upon startup, you'll want to watch the video on restarting without pre-marked alignment point. Mm -hmm. 